I think as a designer, digital ethnography for me is a reflective process. It involves uh, websites, it involves apps, it involves uh, talking to people, it involves me staying in the village for two weeks and talking to uh, villagers. When you ask an artist, for example, how they made something, they may say, oh, I don't know, I just did it. But actually, there are a lot of processes behind what they do. And I think in ethnography, it's our job to look into those processes. I think a lot of times people think that uh, digital ethnography, when you, when you think digital, um, it's very simple and quantitative and quick. And I don't think so. The digital ethnography can be at the forefront of what is good and bad data when it breaks or when it's literally not fit for purpose. I think the future of digital ethnography will depend on how the struggle over digital rights will evolve. The future of digital ethnography will rely on seeing the world from a different perspective, a perspective that's multiple, a perspective that relies on metaphor and imagery. Quantum computing will be able to break most encryption tools which are currently used. And that will shift relationships, that will shift power balance between users, uh, governments and companies. And I think the role of digital ethnographer will be to observe. The practice of slow burn is so important in the future of digital ethnography because by taking just snapshots, you're not getting a full picture. You're not understanding the permeations and the changes from, say, one language to another language. Not focus on a fix, uh, fixed location, so, uh, but it's also not, in a way, multi-sided. I would say it's, it sort of involves multi-layers of spatiality. It's about making all those things strange, making familiar concepts and familiar ideologies, familiar practices, make those all strange, and it allows me, as a designer, to approach, attack, untangle those problems, and hopefully provide solutions. Digital ethnography offers us the ability to think about the connectability and interoperability of all these devices. Rather than those pie-in-the-sky promises, digital ethnography can have a look at what's real and what's not.